And we're back. We had a little bit of a malfunction there, but we got it covered, I think. We're recording again. So this is a kosher sea salt and some little peppers of the spicy peppers there. I don't know how much of that we got. So we got that. We're going to put a little ginger because ginger is good for you, good for the digestion. We want to try to do as much as we can to stay healthy now at this uh, coronavirus breakout. I'm no doctor, and I don't, you know, I don't have any medical advice, but I do believe in preventive medicine. So here's some turmeric, organic turmeric. That's another thing that's supposed to be real good for you. It's supposed to help your immune system or whatever. There we go. It's just supposed to be really good for you. It doesn't really add any flavor. Now here's a little bit of dry mustard. Now you want to be light on that. You don't want to put a lot of uh, dry mustard on there. Just a little bit. It'll overpower something. You know. Maybe I'll make you some of that little um, that Chinese dry that Chinese hot mustard you get. That's what they make it out of. I can make it out of that. So you got a little Chinese five spice. We'll put a good little bit of that on there. There we go. Just a little bit more. Got a little bit down. Man, these are uh, cross-cut steaks, uh, shanks. I get them all the time there at the city market. They're on sale. And when you put them in the crock pot for two or three hours, this is an allspice. You put them in the crock pot for th two or three hours, and they come out and they're super tender. They're super cheap. It's a really great product. Here we go with a little white pepper. There you go, the white pepper is pretty. That's where a lot of heat is, is in the white pepper. So, we're going to let them sit for a minute. You could do this and let them sit overnight, but you don't have to. So then next, what we're going to do is get everything ready. Our crock pot's hot. I got some uh, vegetable broth here. So organic vegetable broth. We're going to put some of that in there. We're going to probably put a little bit more, but we're just putting a little bit in there right now. We're going to throw in our Anasazi beans, just like that. These Fairland potatoes, they're like butter. So I'm not even going to cut them. I'm going to toss them in there, just like that. Then let's see what we're going to do next. Then what we're going to do, we're going to turn these over, just like that. We're going to spin them a little bit. That's what I call it, spinning them. And now we've got that, get that seasoning on there. Both sides a little bit. Now we're going to just place them right on top, just like that. Yummy. There we go. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Let's see. We got a little bit of garlic here. We're going to put in a little bit of that. I love me some garlic. It's good for you. It's a nature's only antibiotic. You know, garlic's nature's only antibiotic. And honey is the one thing that never doesn't go bad. Honey does not go bad. So there's that stuff. Now what we got left over here. We got some carrots. We're going to toss that in. We're going to just toss it all in. Onions and celery. Carrots, bell peppers. Yummy. This is going to be a really tasty meal here. So, we even got our little uh, habanero. I love me some habanero. Oop, look here, here's a little piece wanting to try to get away. You ain't going to do it, buddy. We got all that good stuff. All that. 
is really good. A lot of nutrition, a lot of fiber, a lot of good stuff. Hey, while I'm doing this, and y'all just watching me fiddle here, how about subscribing to the channel? I need subscribers. I need likes. I need people to follow me. So how about doing the boy a, a favor? What do you call it? Uh, a solid. Do the boy a solid. Give me a thumbs up. And uh, subscribe to the channel. You know? We'll either get better or we'll still just stay struggling along. But all these recipes work. I've already had some good feedback. Um, you know, you have to adjust them for your own taste. I'm all right, man. I'm, right, I'm working on a book, cookbook. I call it the Anatomy of a Recipe, and I talk all about um, making stuff to make it your own. So we're gonna add what little bit of that is in there. Let's see what I'm gonna do. This. We'll set that right there. Set that right there. Hopefully it won't fall off. You gotta give me a spatulator. Y'all know what a spatulator is? And I'm gonna just do this. I'll get all that goodness in there. Yum. Woo, buddy. That's some good stuff. If you're ever down in Arizona, down Tucson way, check out the ranches down there. The guest ranches are great. They're great family fun. Um, here we go. Whoop, that's butters. Here we go. We're going to add just a little bit more of this. Oh, we don't want to forget. Our French onion soup. That's a secret ingredient. I got one other one. I got one other one here too. One I didn't show you just yet. It's going to help kind of thicken things up. But we also have a can of golden mushroom. Golden mushroom. Good old Campbell soup. Buy their products. I got stuck in the company. <laughs> That's funny, y'all. So there's some more of that. Well, let's see. I got me a spoon here somewhere. We got that. We're going to take this. See how good that's starting to look? Let me see. I think you want to look for the water level there. Oh yeah, see that water level right there? Can you see that? That's where you want it. You don't want to cover the whole thing because there's going to be more water come up in there. All this stuff's going to sweat and juice. And that's going to be plenty of juice. You can use water. You can add some wine to it. I use this vegetable broth. You could use beef broth. Would be good in it. But it might be overpowering with the French onion and the mushroom. So we're going to cover this. We're going to see if Siri will talk to us. Hey Siri. Can you set us a timer for three hours? Okay. Your timer is set for three hours. Thank you. Siri, how do we ever get along without her? That and Google Maps. <laughs> okay. I'll see y'all in three hours. We're going to add one more ingredient then, and then let it cook for another hour. So it's going to cook for a total of four hours. But this is all for now. Over and out. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh man, that's so good. Just a little bit spicy, not bad, not too bad. Just a little bit of heat. Mm. Oh, okay, so we're back. 
Uh, Siri says the timer's up. Um, done. Stop. Stop. Here's how it's looking. Let's see here. See how our meat is looking down in there? Man, that has such a great taste. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It's, it would be pretty much done right now. But we're going to add one more ingredient. One more little thing, just to make it a little bit more healthy, just to make it a little bit more nutritious. We're going to add this big handful of um, organic spinach. Now, you know, you saw that liquid. You see all that liquid in there. You saw how much liquid we started with. I haven't added anything to it. This is just how much. Every time, you don't want to fill it all the way with the liquid, or you'll have too much. So we're going to mash that spinach down in there. Just like that. Oh, man, I tell you, that's got a good flavor to it. A little bit of, so a little bit spicy on the end, but not bad at all. Just a little bit of warmth. So we're going to put that in there like that. The spinach doesn't have to cook long, you know. It doesn't have to cook long at all. In fact, you could eat it probably just like that. Hey Siri, set a timer for an hour. 60 minutes. Okay. Your timer is set for two hours. Nope. I guess I told her wrong. Siri, cancel that. Now you're going to see how stupid I am with Siri. We're going to cancel that. Hey, Siri. Set a timer for 60 minutes. Your timer is set for one hour. Thank you. We'll be back. But spinach, I mean, you could eat it now. But I like my spinach. I want it cooked a little bit. Man, that's good. I mean, it's really good. Look at how pretty that is. Don't you like pretty food? That really is. That's got it going on. <laughs> hey, so here we are back. It's been a total of four hours now. Um, we're ready to eat. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I really do appreciate it. Look at that. Doesn't that look yummy? I'm telling you. Let's see what we got here. What we got up in here on this Ash Wednesday. Let's dig deep down in there. Oh, there's a potato. That's what I was looking for. Yummy. Let's see if she's done. What y'all think? It's been four hours. Oh, yeah. Done. Done. Pretty much done. Important thing. Oh, yeah. When we can mash a pea like that. Yeah, they done. Look at that. So, yeah, let's see here. Hmm. These could stand a minute more. Definitely. Gonna need about 20 more minutes and then it's gonna be perfect. But it's good now. Mm. Mm. So rich, so um so much flavor, so rich, it's really, really good. Um so in 20 more minutes it's gonna be good, but it's like great now what we got. Mm. You want to see what this is? Look at that. That meat's falling off the bone. That's looking really good there. Okay. We'll let that cook a few more minutes though. Make sure those beans get done. 
It's always the toughest thing, especially at uh, 8,000. Well, right under. We're right at under 8,000 feet, not quite. But even after letting them beans soak all night, they're taking their time cooking, but it looks yummy. Man, I want you to look. Where'd my fork go? Oh, anyway, check this out. Look how tender that is. Yum. Look at that. Just tender as it can be. Potatoes. Tender. Man, that's some good stuff. That is some really good stuff. Need a big old biscuit on it. But, yeah, it's good. It's really good.